What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with another WWE Ultimate Edition review and it is a special one, man. We have the brand new San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2023 and it is the Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali Boxer and Referee 2-Pack. And I do want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for making this review possible and sending out this figure for us to review here on the channel, man. I greatly appreciate them for the kindness sending this thing out and getting a first look at it here in the MDT review station. And greatly appreciate them for sending this figure out for us to review for everyone out there. So a huge thank you and shout out to Mattel over there and their entire team. Now this set is very awesome for a lot of reasons. This of course is an exclusive that you can get your hands on this week actually. This set actually goes up for pre-order on July 21st, 2023 at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that will actually be this Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard. So figure out your time, when that'll be, and be ready to grab this set if you guys are interested. Now of course we do have this box here. You guys can see great greatest of all time. And no, John Cena is not in here, but you guys can see I like the nice blue background, the greatest of all time, Ultimate Edition at the bottom. Spinning it to the side, you do get the block WWE logo, Muhammad Ali, the boxer. And if you flip it to the other side, you get the same block WWE logo, but you have Muhammad Ali again, and it is the referee. So it actually says the referee down here, and then you have the referee look for Muhammad Ali. And then on the back, it says, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Then it does have Muhammad Ali's signature at the bottom. And then on the top, it says WWE Ultimate Edition. It's the ultimate WWE action figure that you have always wanted. Featuring advanced articulation and multiple swappable parts, Ultimate Edition figures allow you to capture memorable superstar moments, recreate authentic entrance poses, epic mid-match comebacks, and signature finishing moves in ultimate realistic detail with WWE Ultimate Edition figures. Now, I feel like this figure had a lot of controversy going on with it when it was first revealed. I guess not a ton of controversy, but I saw a lot of people saying, I'm passing on this. They thought it would be a wrestler. They thought it would be a WWE legend of some sort, and I guess this guy is legends in other ways. I don't know if you would say WWE legend, but he's definitely a legend in his own right. And whether or not it's a wrestler, I still think it's a badass set. And we're going to, of course, unbox it today and get everything started with it. Wouldn't have been my first choice. I am very interested to know who was on the pecking order above Muhammad Ali. I just don't think this was their first selection, you know? They didn't sit down at a table all around the thing and go, who's the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive this year or next year or whatever? I think they have to plan these things like a year in advance. I don't think they were sitting at the table and said to themselves, Muhammad Ali's the pick. Brad, and somebody said, damn it, you're right, Jerry. <laughs> All right, fellas, big meeting today. We're going to be deciding the 2023 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, so I just want to go around the room and see if anybody has any great ideas this year. Hey, boss, I think I have a few ideas. Okay, okay, well, just, let's, let's slow our horses, all right? I think I'll be the judge of that one. Let's see what you got. Okay, so I was thinking that we could probably... Ooh. I have an idea. Okay, great. What do you got? So I know in years past we've liked to do the wrestling pop culture crossovers, right? So I was thinking, what if we did the John Cena Superman Ultimate Edition crossover figure? I even got the prototype right here. That's not bad. That's not bad. I actually like that. I like that. Sir, I don't know if that's going to work. That that doesn't even sound like a Comic-Con exclusive. Plus, like, we'd have to split the profits and things like that with DC and all those licenses. I was thinking more along the lines of, like, a, an Ultimate Edition 2-pack with maybe, like, Mike Tyson and Stone Cold Steve Austin or something like that. Ooh, I like that idea. I like that idea, but wrestling wasn't very popular in the Attitude Era. Plus, that didn't happen, like, 50 years ago. If we're doing boxing, let's do Muhammad Ali. Yes! Yes! Book that one! We're doing it! Muhammad Ali! But sir, isn't Mike Tyson a better option? Well, as I'm sure you know, Johnny, Jimmy, Frank, as I'm sure you know, we like to choose talent that appeals to an older audience. Well, yes, of course, but I just thought uh, we could... Ah, yeah. Well, we're doing Muhammad Ali. Great job, Johnson. Way to think outside the box and choosing a boxing figure. You're wearing sunglasses in an office building. So here's the other Muhammad Ali box, man. Really enjoying this. I think this is so badass. You have two different sides here, as you guys can see. You have the yellow side that says champions, boxer versus wrestler, Muhammad Ali, the fighter, the man, the legend, June 26, 1976. And down here, you have this really cool image of Antonio Inoki versus Muhammad Ali from that year, of course, as it says there, idiot. Then on this side, you do have Muhammad Ali, first time in the line there with the boxer shorts. On this side, you get the block WWE logo with the blue and white. And on the opposite side, you do have first time in the line, WrestleMania, WWE, all this 
this stuff. Kind of looks like an old like VHS cover or magazine cover looking pretty dope. And then on the top it does say float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, the iconic saying. And this is one of the best things about this box set, man, is right here on the side. You open this up. This is magnetized, so when you bring it close enough, you guys can see that it shuts on its own. So that is freaking fantastic. Opening it up, you can see the figures themselves. Now, I've seen some rumblings online saying, why is this so hazy, you know? But I've, I think Mattel has done this before. We saw it with Mr. T a couple years ago, and now they've done it here. I, I mean, yeah, it probably would look better if it was completely clear so you could see it better, but I don't mind it that much, you know? I, is anybody going to display it like this? I mean, possibly, but up here it says in-ring icon. You can read that. And on the ref side, it says WrestleMania legend, and you can read that. And, of course, it says 1970 over here and 1985 over there and then they do have their stands that include their accessories at the bottom but you do have a noki here and hulk hogan there which is a really cool touch and then you proceed to open this and the figure is in the plastic box there and then you have the boxing ring behind it you guys know the mattel goes over the top of their packaging especially on these sdcc exclusives man the the packaging team nails it every single time i mean look at this right here we're gonna of course put these guys on the rotating base but you have two different backgrounds as well you have the wrestling background and the boxing background but let's shut the hell up and put these guys on the rotating base for the love of God. So here is Muhammad Ali and Muhammad Ali out of the packaging. We have our boxer, we have our referee, and say what you want to say, but I think this is a very interesting two-pack. Now, I, I did my thoughts video on this. We broke it down. We said all the things we wanted to say about the selection of Muhammad Ali, and I think it's a very interesting choice. I think it's a cool figure. I don't know what the market's out there like for this figure, but I still think that the execution of it is very interesting. Whether we agree or not with the talent that was selected, and whether or not it's an actual wrestler or a legendary icon, wrestler. The figure execution is the biggest part, I think, at the end of the day. And while it wouldn't have been my first choice for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, it's definitely unique, and we have some cool things going on with it, and we're going to break it all down in this video, of course, man. But what we're going to do is take a closer look at Muhammad Ali's accessories all together. We're going to take a closer look at all of the accessories you get with this entire pack together, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the referee, and then we'll take a closer look at Muhammad Ali, the boxer. So let's shut the hell up and do it. All right, guys, so getting into Muhammad Ali's accessories, and yeah, that's both of them, both of the damn accessories. This is loaded up with interchangeable hands. We get cloth goods. No championship belt, of course. I feel like, again, I say it all the time in the Ultimate Edition reviews, it's the standard. Cloth goods, interchangeable heads, championship. Usually what you get there. Now, for this figure's cloth goods, we do get this towel-like robe that has Muhammad Ali printed on the back. And it is that towel material. I could tell, you know, I mean, I could tell. I'm literally holding it. I'm grasping it in my hands, Brad. Of course you can tell. But you have the nice belt wrapping around there through the loops, which is nice. It fits the figure figure well as well, which I really enjoy. It doesn't have any Velcro on it or anything like that. No, no Velcro or anything like that. And it's not hooded. I thought it was hooded at first, but it's just a collar. It's just a standard. It, You know what it is? It's pretty much a men's male version. A men's male. I might as well have just said, I don't know. It's like the same damn thing, son. But it's the Elite 85 Liv Morgan material, right? Like her, her robe that she had, that towel-like feel to it, and that's nice. I like this accessory a lot. And then we get our head sculpts, and we get four different, or I guess, you get two head sculpts that are the exact same, and then you get two more that are expressive. So you have the blank expression, and then you have another blank expression, and these are pretty much the exact same. But the more I look at it, it almost looks like, I don't know if this is, like, planned or not, but it almost looks like this one's a little older. Am I tripping? Or is this one slightly younger? Maybe I'm just, I, I think I need to go to sleep, but I don't know. Am I tripping? tripping or is it more wrinkly or something? I don't know. They look slightly different to me. You guys can be the judge, but maybe one goes on the box or one goes on the ref. But if you guys want this expression, you do get both of these so you can put them on each figure. I think the likeness is pretty good. And then we have probably my, I don't know if this is my favorite or the yelling one's my favorite, but I really enjoy this one. It's like the pissed off gritting one, you know, you just knocked your ass out. And then lastly, we do have the yelling expression. Both of these look really damn good. I think they've really captured the likeness here. Haircut looks really good. I think they nailed it. I really appreciate the head sculpts. Probably my favorite part of the entire deal, but there are your interchangeable heads. And then with this figure, you get a crap ton of interchangeable hands. You get mic holding hands, but you not only get one pair, you do get two pairs. So you get two pairs so you can put mic holding hands on the boxer or the referee or at the same time. So you don't have to pick and choose. You can put, you know, both of them in the mic holding hands, which we've seen a million times. You also get fisted hands, where, of course, if you want to pull the gloves off and get in a street fight, you can do that with your Muhammad Ali. So you get the fisted hands. Now, here on my channel, we have dubbed these the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking hands. And I call them the Kawhi Leonard because they look so damn 
saying big. Like, he has big hands, and these look massive. And, you know, they first came with the Elite 69 Ricochet, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, this could be your hand shaking, hands on the hips, slapping the mat for the one, two, three. Lots of different options for these. Then you get the pointer hands to signal, you know, the number one or to point at somebody and tell them to shut the hell up. Then you get the two hands to represent, you know, the number two. You can do the peace sign. You can count to number two. You're telling everybody it's a two count. Or you can point at two different people and tell them to shut the hell up. You ever seen that? Shut the hell up. And then you also get the number three hands. So you can count the number three, you know, one, two, three, the match is over with. You know, you're counting out loud, you know, somebody's doing a move and you're trying to count them on a ring out or something. You could use these. Or you can point at three different people and tell them to shut the hell up. You three shut the hell up. And then the last accessories we have are the boxing gloves, which we have seen before. We've seen these with the Bob Orton Legends Target Exclusive Elite. We saw these with the Mr. T and Roddy Piper two-pack figures. So we have seen boxing gloves before, but they're a nice sculpt, and I really enjoy these. They're, they like, they're really fun to use. So, you know, I think the sculpt's nice, and they represent boxing gloves pretty well. All right, man, so getting into Muhammad Ali, the Ultimate Edition referee version, starting out the head sculpt. We already took a look at it, but going down, I think the head fits the neck kind of well. I put it up a little bit here. I felt like it it may have sat a little low, but I put it up just a tad here, so if you push it all the way down, I don't know. I feel like that kind of made him a stumpy neck, so I did pull it up just a hair just to give it that proportion I like, but he's got the bow tie on there, and this is a brand new torso and everything going on here. I dig it, you know. I will say, I feel like, I guess we can get into the articulation in just a minute, but he's got the butterfly joints. got the sculpted sleeves here, which are very nice here. Nice cuffs and everything going on. The shirt is like a really, really light blue. I don't think it's white. It looks to be a very light blue. At least that's what I'm looking at here. Um, at least to me in my eyes. It's a very, very light blue. You do have the uh, navy pants going on here. One thing that's interesting is these are the Mr. Perfect Build-A-Figure legs from the SummerSlam wave. And they do have drop-down hips as well. But I don't know how I feel about these new legs. I mean, yeah, they don't look as ugly aesthetically, I guess. But I don't I don't know. They just feel a bit stiff to me. And uh, I don't know. I guess aesthetically they're kind of the same. They just don't have that weird crotch thing going on. But you go all the way down from the slacks. And then you do get the ultimate toes down here. These are a new shoe sculpt. I'm pretty sure. Never seen these before, so that's kind of cool. They look very unique. You don't really get an ankle rocker, though, out of them. You do get the toe pivot, though, which, you know, it's kind of an Ultimate Edition specialty. Now, as far as articulation, ab crunch is okay. You know, it's your typical Ultimate Edition there. It's on a ball joint there. You do get butterfly joints, which are decent. You know, they can come all the way across the chest. You can pull them back pretty good, though. You get the bicep cut, double jointed arms, which are always beautiful to see. And one thing I've noticed is I feel like it's not necessarily loose, but it's almost like it clicks into spots, kind of. But, I don't know. I'd like it to be tighter than it is, but it's not as loose is Danny Davis, which I guess is a, you know, a W there, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a Muhammad Ali in, in navy pants. I mean, what do you want, Brad? You know, you have this one up next to it, and then for your Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali referee figure comparisons, I mean, first of all, we gotta have Boxer Muhammad Ali, so there's these two up next to each other. I definitely like the Boxer version more, just because I, when I think of Muhammad Ali, what do you think of boxing immediately? You don't think of referee, even if you are in the wrestling space. I mean, OG WrestleMania, you know it is, but it's cool. I, you know, I, I think it gets that done, but for other comparisons, we do have the Ultimate Edition referee Muhammad Ali up next to our Danny Davis Build-A-Figure. And you guys can talk, see what I'm talking about with the legs. This is the new leg mold compared to the old one. You guys can see it had like this weird crotch here, but it, it made for some amazing articulation. It just looked weird. And this Danny Davis has like the loosest waist of all time. It's just the way that it is. But it, this, this is our only Mattel referee figures, I'm pretty sure, you know? I don't think we've ever seen another referee from Mattel outside of these two guys. And I feel like, I, I mean, I wasn't there for WrestleMania 1, but this seems to be a better powder blue light color than this over here and now that they, these are up next to each other it makes this one look much more white and this may be white i just i don't know man maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me but you can be the judge and then for your other muhammad ali ultimate edition figure comparison we do have the ultimate edition hulk hogan here from series 13 and these look pretty good up next to each other you know from the the arm raise and the packaging and stuff you know if you wanted to put these next to each other on the shelf or whatever your display you want to do but that is pretty much your comparisons for our referee ultimate edition muhammad ali now getting in a box for muhammad ali i did put the grunting or like the disgruntled head sculpt pissed off Muhammad Ali head sculpt on there. I just feel like it fits best. And then uh, going down into the torso, this looks to pretty much be like a Mr. T or Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate just repainted, of course, for the skin tone. And that's the same torso we're seeing here. He does have the skinnier arms, but they are pinless, thank God. But they look good and everything like that. You know, it's a plain Jane torso, just skin tone going on there. But you do get these boxer shorts here, which I don't know if they're a new sculpt or not. I don't think they are. 
but we do have pinless legs. I want to say this is just the Mr. T and Roddy Piper shorts and, you know, legs, because those were also pinless, except they do have Ultimate Edition boots down here, which we'll get into, but just the black and white trunks there, nothing over the top crazy, but he does have his red boxing gloves in there that are nice, and I think they fit the figure well. Black stripe down the side, and that looks to be an Uso's crotch, it looks like, and going down to the legs, he does have the black socks. I could have swore that he had, he had red socks, but I guess this is from his Anoki fight, and then he does have the white boxing shoes or boots here that are Ultimate Edition, and they're just the Stone Cold Steve Austin mold, but I'm digging this figure, man. I'm getting a lot of fun out of this. Now, as far as your articulation, he has a much better ab crunch than the referee, I'd say, but, you know, it's your standard butterfly joints reach across the chest. You know, a lot, I know a lot of people are going to put him in that, like, knockout pose, you know, where he's got, like, the, the fist coming across his heart there, and he's like, you know, like this, and he's looking down at him, like, yeah, I just knocked you out, so that's kind of what we're looking at here, and then he's got the white trunk. Yeah, I mean, this is a badass figure, man. I didn't get to witness Muhammad Ali's career or anything, but I do know the legend of Muhammad Ali, but, yeah, this is, this is crazy, man. Crazy as hell. Are you looking at this? Now, for your Muhammad Ali Ultimate Edition figure comparison, we do have the Roddy Piper and Mr. T boxing figures from the two-pack, which is a very unique set here, and, you know, they all have their robes, they all have their shorts and stuff. One thing I found with these figures is that the legs were loose for some reason. I'm not finding that on the, on the Muhammad Ali figure, though, and that may be because, I don't know why that is, to be honest with you. I don't know, I don't know what's going on there, but the Mr. T, I remember being really loose and kind of falling forward for whatever reason, but it is so wild to see these boxing figures up next to each other. I mean, what the hell's next, you know? I think Floyd Mayweather could potentially be one one year. Maybe him and Big Show if he ever came back or something. I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but it is cool to see these up next to each other. You know, you can have crazy boxing matches now. Roddy Piper, Mr. T, put Muhammad Ali in there, have a triple threat boxing match or something. Or you can get out another skilled fighter in fighting gloves, and you can put the damn Brock Lesnar in there. So here's the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar with his UFC gloves, and you know, and I have Ken Shamrock somewhere, but this is pretty cool to see these up next to each other. And then for our San Diego Comic-Con WWE Mattel exclusive comparison, we do have the last few years of our Mattel WWE San Diego Comic-Con exclusives with the Slim Jim Macho Man, the Mr. T Elite, the Sergeant Slaughter Ultimate, the two-pack last year with Zeus and Rip, and then this year with Muhammad Ali. Pretty insane stuff going on, man. I guess Ultimate Edition two-packs are the future for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I don't know how else you can really go back from that now. You know, we had Elites in the past, and then they went to an Ultimate, and then they went to an Ultimate two-pack. Uh, maybe we'll get a three-pack, you know? Who, who the hell knows? But will they continue with pop culture references? I don't know. We will have to see and wait for next year, and I don't know, Mike Tyson would be really cool. Mike Tyson and Stone Cold would be amazing to pack. But that pretty much wraps up our San Diego Comic Con exclusive Muhammad Ali figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition 2-pack on the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2023 Muhammad Ali Mattel Creations exclusive pack, man. I enjoyed this set even though it wasn't my first choice. I think, again, the execution of these figures was really nice. I really love the boxer more. The boxing Muhammad Ali. I've never owned a Muhammad Ali action figure, and I don't know how many are, are out there. I know they exist. I'm pretty sure they exist. But to have this in hand, it's a really unique set. I love the packaging. I think if you're a mental card collector, you'll enjoy it. I think if you love like posing around your figures, it's great. If you're a fan of action figures in general, I think it's awesome. I like the robe. I like the head sculpts. The boxing gloves are cool. My biggest cons with it are just, I guess, character selection wasn't my number one here. And then I don't know where it really fits into your, your wrestling collection. I mean, you know, it, you do have, like, certain things you can do with this figure. You know, we've discussed them in the video. However, I don't think it's must-have. And if you guys aren't, like, completionist on your Ultimate Collections or you're not a big Muhammad Ali fan or you don't care for the character, you just, you don't think he fits into your wrestling action figure collection or your action figure collection in general, I would completely skip it. I don't know what you would really be missing here outside of just a great overall action figure of Muhammad Ali. I don't think you'd really have any holes in your collection. I think you could get some usage out of the referee body in some other ways like we discussed during this video as well. You might be able to make some other boxers or something like that, you know, if that's where your head's at. But I'm just giving you all of my points and notes here as we went through the video, man. But that is going to wrap up the review, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Again, you can grab yours July 21st, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I did not hit the lottery for the Mattel booth at San Diego Comic-Con, so I will not be able to purchase this in person. I'll have to go online and try to snag one because I think I would I would like to have this set mint on card as well. So, But I enjoyed this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, definitely check the link in the description below. I greatly appreciate Appreciate it getting all that stuff. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never